Well, many people ask me how to keep our parts inside a case run on low temperature and how to maintain a decent airflow inside the case to keep the parts running on low temperature. I am Tarun from Technology Update and let's get started. So this is the gaming cabinet from Circle CC830 which is an Indian brand. I'll use this case to show you guys different types of air pressure inside a case. So basically there are two different types of air pressure inside the case, positive and negative. I'll start off with the positive air pressure. Positive air pressure is when you have more air coming into the case than you do leaving it. This will help you to keep your temperatures low, although a big amount of dust will go inside the case. But to prevent that, you can use dust filters so that only the clean air goes inside the case. Negative air pressure is when you take out more air outside of the case more than you take in. The negative air pressure will cause the parts to heat up and temperature will go up and heat will build up inside the case. So the perfect way to keep your temperature low is to maintain a perfect air flow inside your case. Every case have different placement of cooling fans. In this case, I'll be using 6120mm fans to maintain the air flow inside the case. I'll be using stock cooler for CPU and stock cooler for GPU, no water cooling stuff. Well, this case supports water cooling tubing system, but I'll stick with fan power. I guess 6 fans are more than enough to maintain a decent air flow inside a case. I'll be using 220mm fan in front to blow air inside the case to cool the hard disk and SSD. But I won't be using them on full RPM which is 2000. They will stay around 1200 RPM for a decent air flow. Now moving on to the top, the 220mm blowing air inside the case. They will be running on RPM around 2000 at their max speed to cool down the RAM and throwing direct air on GPU and CPU. Although the CPU and GPU have their own stock cooler but cool air from outside helps them to maintain their temperature. And this fan right in the GPU runs at a RPM of 1200 to throw the air out of the case coming from front fans to maintain air flow. Now moving on to the back side of the case, one more 120mm fan which blows air outside of the case it runs at a RPM of 2000 and it was like a charm I can even feel the hot air coming outside of the case. The GPU is having a stock cooler so we can control this sphere from the system. If you have a Zotac or Nvidia graphic cards you can use a Firestorm, a software to increase speed of the stock cooler fan on GPU. At 100% it runs at a RPM of 3500 and it gets really loud at that speed. Uh, and the speed of chassis fan and uh, stock cooler on CPU speed can be easily controlled from system. If you have Asus motherboard by using Asus AI speed, this software comes with Asus motherboard. From software, we can select different types of mode for fans according to our needs. The speed of front fans and top fans can be controlled easily through this case. This case comes with a fan controllers inbuilt. We just have to plug the fan into socket and we are good to go. We can adjust the speed to our needs. If we are playing games, we can run them at full RPM or the system is just idle, we can turn them to a RPM of 1000. So by using fans, we can maintain a decent airflow inside a case. My CPU is performing well with this stock cooler and I am not changing it sooner. Yeah, but water cooling is something else that air cooling can do. If you like this video, please drop a like or subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.